welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew our ball dress this is not your regular ball dress because this form of dress is a kaftan and it's usually free and bogus at the lower side so Join us on Facebook to the designs, on Instagram to the designs, and also visit our website. We have amazing fashion illustration on our website. All the details are going to be in the description box below. So what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this? Your shoulder measurements, bust, waist, hip, and your gown length. Now, note that there are two ways in which you can achieve this style. The first one is to make use of your bust and your waist being fitted and then the hip part is where you have so much allowance or inches added to it, right? And you can also decide that you want your bust and your waist to be a little bit free and your hip side is always very big, right? So, but the basic thing is that for the hip side, we are going to have our draping and the ball effect at the hip side. So you can decide that you want your bust and your waist to be fitted or you want it to be free. It totally depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day. So let's go ahead now and calculate our basic measurements. So my shoulder measurement is 14. 14 divided by 2, I have 7. My bust is 36. 36 divided by 4 plus 2, I have 11 inches. My waist is 30. 30 divided by 4 plus 2, I have 9.5. Our hip is 40 inches. 40 divided by 4 plus 2, we have 12 inches. Our gown length is 38. So 38 plus 2 inches to so in allowance, we have 40 inches. Now, this is your regular measurement, right? But because what we want to achieve is our ball effect, and like I said earlier, the hip part is usually bogus because that is where you have your draping effect. So the number of inches you attach to your hip, you add to your hip, totally depends on how free you want it to be. Note that you are to add so much on your hip area. Inches from 10 inches to 20 inches. It totally depends on how big you want it to be. And the bigger it is, the more beautiful or the more bold effects you will have at your hip area. So note that you cannot add 2 inches, you can't add 5 inches to this style. You'll be adding, even if you don't want it to be free, you'll be adding at least 10 inches to your hip measurement but i would advise that you move up to about 15 inches 13 20 because the more inches you add the more your balloon dress is going to be so beautiful and cute right and actually when you're using fabrics like crepe crepe fabric or you're using fabric like scuba so by the time you add so much to it it's going to bob up so beautifully i'm going to go ahead and add about 13 to 15 inches decide on the number of inches you want to add to yours and in the course of you cutting it you can also decide to increase it or reduce it, it depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day so my hip now is 12 i'm going to go ahead now and add 13 i'm going to have 13 i'm going to have 25 inches so for my hip line now we are going to have 25 inches i added 13 inches extra to my hip now like i said earlier for the there are two ways. You can decide that you want your bust and your waist measurement to be fitted. So if you want yours to be fitted, you will just make use of your exact bust and your exact waist measurement. But if you want it to be free a little around your bust area and your waist area, then just go ahead and add about 2 inches to 3 inches to your bust and your waistline so let's go ahead and do that but if you want yours to be fitted you just go ahead with your basic measurement so i'll go ahead now and add three inches i have 14 inches for my bust for my waist i will add three inches go ahead now and add three inches to my waist i have 12 0.5 inches so these are the basic measurements required now another thing you should also take note of is that for the lower side of our dress we are going to be adding our el el elastic to it for the lower side of our dress we are going to be adding our elastic and we are making use of the small elastic which is half inch elastic so you should also consider that 
in taking your length measurement so i'll go ahead and add extra two inches to my length and this two inches now is for my elastic allowance so i'll go ahead and add two inches i have 42 inches so my gown length is 42 inches so please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on go ahead and comment that and put that in the comment section trainings are available both online training and physical training don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe visit our website and also our facebook and instagram page i'm going to put down the details in the description box below so guys now the first thing we are going to do is to go ahead and fold our fabric into four after folding your fabric into four you go ahead and take your basic measurement so our shoulder to bust we have nine inches bust to waist we have eight inches waist to hip we have nine inches so these are the lines and then we have our gown length so on my bust line now i'll go ahead and mark my bust measurement which is 10.5 and i'll be adding about three inches for the freeness so you can basically add two inches to five inches it all depends on how free you want it to be so i'll add three inches on my waistline i'll mark my waist measurement which is 9.5 and i will also add three inches for the freeness also so on the hip line now we'll go ahead and mark our hip measurement which is 11 inches and then we we'll mark our three inches also for the freeness of the hip. Now we we'll also go ahead now and mark our shoulder measurements. So our shoulder measurements we have seven inches. These are our shoulder measurements. So basically connect our shoulder measurements to our bust line. Our shoulder measurements to our bust line, bust to waist, waist to hip. Now, because what we want to achieve is a balloon caftan, is a balloon caftan. Now you come to your your gown length. This is where we have our gown length, and if you extend this your hip line this way, I'm just going to use like dotted lines to extend it, just a very faint line to extend it. So this is where our initial hip measurements get up to. But we added so much at inches at this part because this is where you are going to get that ball shape effect so you go ahead and add as many inches as possible and the number of inches you add totally depends on how full your ball dress will be and the more full it is the more beautiful the outcome is so i have about 15 inches extra at this part because i really want you to be very free now at this lower part of your gown length go ahead and mark two inches upwards mark two inches upwards now the reason why you have your two inches upwards is because we are going to fix in our elastic at this part so you mark your two inches this is like our sewing allowance so we are taking off our sewing allowance basically now at this edge now what you want to achieve is a balloon effect so you just go ahead now and connect this to your waistline we are connecting this to your waistline so you go ahead and connect this this way to your waistline you can see what we have just connect what you have here to your waistline so this is what we have it's just like a round shape you are basically connecting what you have at your gown length to your waistline so you just go ahead and connect this together and your caftan is almost ready so this part now you're going to have that puffy effect at the side and which is actually very cute so once you are done now let's go ahead and mark our neckline so for the wideness of the neckline i'm going to make it of three inches for my wideness i'll make it of three inches for the depth i have five inches five inches for the depth and i'm going to make it of a round neckline so on my shoulder slope now i'll go ahead and mark my one inch and then connect it together so this is basically what we are going to have for our captain so we'll go ahead now and cut this out and then 
so guys after cutting it out this is what we have so you can see this shape so if you want yours to be bigger you just go ahead and add maybe about 20 inches 25 inches it depends on how wide you want it to be so you can basically see the shape of what we have and you also take note that our bust measurement and our waist measurement we added about three inches just like give it some little ease around that area also now it's time to stitch this and it's very very easy to sew trust me it's very very easy to stitch so what we are going to do now is we are basically going to go ahead now and aim our neckline so we'll aim the neckline for the front block right and we'll also aim the neckline for the back block now i know that you might want to be asking that how will you get your ball shape effects and all of that so this is the lower part of our fabric now where we have the ball shape effect and you will discover that because you added so much allowance to this lower part you have so much inches at this lower part right like it's actually very full and that is the beauty of this style and don't forget that we left two inches at this lower part because we are going to fix in our what our elastic and for the elastic i'm going to be showing you guys the type of elastic we'll be using for this lower part so guys, we are going to make use of this half inch elastic and this is basically what it looks like. So you go ahead now and attach your elastic to the lower part of your dress, place it this way and then you fold it and you stitch. So by the time you are done, this is what you are going to have. You can see our elastic is in this part and the ball effect will automatically come up. So once you are done, you've also gone ahead now to aim your neckline and you can see the lower part. By the time you are done fixing the elastic, you can see the lower part, you can see the shape already and it's gathered up. So you go ahead now and... Do the same for the second piece so for the second piece also we have your elastic at the lower part and then you've gone ahead to aim your neckline so you are basically going to place both panels together go ahead now and place your front block and your back block together make use of your bust measurements your waist measurements to couple this up and for this side where you have your balloon effect you just go ahead and stitch about one inch you just go ahead and stitch about one inch this way and you also do the same for the second side so once i'm done i'm going to show you guys what it looks like and don't forget to also join your shoulders together if you want yours to have a sleeve go ahead and fix in your sleeve and i'll show you guys and see your ball effect so you can basically just go ahead and adjust the lower part it totally depends on how long you actually want it to be so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe let me know if you have any question in the comment section and i'll see you guys in my next one bye